Hi everyone! Today I'm excited to show a book released by Folio Society this year because it looks kind of different from the standard Folio Society book. First, the book is quite small and it comes with a translucent dust jacket in place of a slipcase. Now, here I have to say that I miss the slipcase deeply. I totally enjoyed this copy, but to me, the slipcase is something I expect from any folio book. A folio book without a slipcase is an incomplete folio book and it annoys me on the shelf, you know. That said, this book is so pretty. Everything except the absence of a slipcase is perfect. Let's start with the translucent dust jacket with the figures of Billy and Cass over the landscape. The quality of the printing is superb, you know, really beautiful. The book is bound in cloth, printed with a design by Dave Hall, and I love his drawings because they are meant to be black and white. The definition and overall quality of the printing on this cloth impressed me a lot. I'll zoom in for you to see what I'm talking about. It's really impressive. And we also have printed end papers. And we also have a color title page spread illustration, which is a plus, because I'm entirely satisfied with the 10 integrated black and white illustrations we will see in the book. The paper is a thick abbey woof, a sewn binding, of course, and the book is introduced by Frank Cotro Boyce. I haven't read this intro yet. So let's take a look at the drawings while I give you the blurb in case you don't know this story. A Castro for a Knave by the English author Barry Hines was published in 1968. And here we have a um, blurb from the Folio Society website. Billy Casper's bleak future seems inevitable, dismissed as hopeless at school and neglected by the romance of his family. In weeks he will be joined his brutish brother down the mines. However, his affinity for the natural world offers a sliver of hope. He raises a wild kestrel, which he names Cass, and her quiet strength and independence strikes a chord with the troubled teenager. So, as we end this video, I'd like to ask you about your opinion on this edition. Do you think the absence of a slipcase is kind of unforgivable? After seeing it on my hands, it kind of grew on me, you know, and I ended up wishing Folio releases more editions like this. This would be a nice collection of small books with a translucent black and white dust jacket and I'll definitely buy more editions like this one. So that's all I had for today, see you guys in the next video, bye!